The water first gets slackened in the artisan's hand, then it spreads, ripples and finds its color. Every drop added contains a different mystery. With every hidden touch of the brush, it shivers ever so slightly, its eye awaiting its paper. The moment they mix in is the moment they meet and find their color, harmony and tranquility. What comes from the heart first drops into the water, then transmits onto paper. A brew. Many centuries ago, colors followed paper, and together they passed from the Silk Road to Anatolia with the name Ebri. It gave color to arts of illumination, even miniatures, and book covers, and over time it gained its own identity with new forms and techniques. The paints are mixed with fluid from animals' gallbladders in order not to break up in the water. Then they wait to be turned into tulips, roses and carnations at the artisan's hands. Gum is harvested from the trigacanth plant, which is collected from the mountains of Anatolia. This gum is used to give the liquid its consistency and make it possible to carry paints around. The Ebru artist takes up a brush made from rose branches and horsehair and goes to the tray. After a while, maybe a Galgit style will begin, maybe a Bulbuluus style, maybe a shawl shape, maybe a comb shape, maybe a Hatip style floral design, maybe a floral shape. The comb in the hand of artist gracefully thins the paint with oil and imprints a picture on the page, leaving a sense of inner joy not visible to the naked eye. Once an Hebrew artist feels that joy, she never leaves her tray again. She spends her years watching the magical dance of the colors in the water. <laughs>